One of the most popular, po one of the most populous of American generations, the baby boomers, are retiring at an exponential rate, and it's having an impact on assisted living and nursing care facilities. ABC 9's Jenna Renstrom has more on that. There are 75 million baby boomers in the U.S. right now, and they're retiring at a rate of 10,000 a day. That means our country is in the midst of a huge shift in demand for services for aging adults. The challenge is keeping our aging adults healthy, both physically and mentally. One local college professor has done unique research on a way to achieve that. He explains more in Your Health Matters. We're facing a crisis. We have 75 million people moving towards that age, that age that we're going to be requiring care. We do not have the facilities out there and the trained people out there to deliver the care that's, that's going to be needed. The cost will be huge. Professor Lee Elliott works daily with young adults at Briarcliff University, but while he prepares them for the beginning of their professional careers, he's concerned about our nation's aging adults. That, along with his extensive background in the healthcare field, prompted Professor Elliott to dive into research aimed at addressing depression among the elderly through the use of positive psychology. In effect, what we were trying to study was, is there a way to reduce the, the difficulties associated with aging? Elliott's research highlights the idea that enhancing well-being improves functioning among senior citizens, and that has the potential to keep aging adults in independent living situations longer, which also promotes good mental health and keeps health care costs down. The results were quite striking. Elliott's research team developed a one-on-one -on -one coaching program for residents at a Nebraska-assisted living facility, including topics like stress management, happiness, forgiveness, and dealing with conflict. The ability to care for yourself just by learning how to have better quality conflict, how to deal with stress, how to be resilient, how to have trust, you know, etc. Um, training people on that and giving that attention over the course of a year, um, it had quite a profound effect. When compared to a group who didn't receive the training, these seniors were able to keep up their daily routines and self-care tasks with no declines. An exciting finding as this baby boomer looks to prepare our health care system and society to take care of and value our growing number of seniors. Professor Elliott hopes his research could lead to an expanded study using positive psychology coaching in care facilities. He and his team are presenting his research next month at the annual Rocky Mountain Psychological Association Convention in Denver.